Hello everyone, this is part two of the File Vault series, and today we're going to be looking at encrypting an external hard drive. We're going to do that through our favorite disk utility, which is obviously named Disk Utility. And as you can see, you can find that under Applications and Utilities, and then Disk Utility. We'll be doing a lot out of here, so you're going to see this particular app a lot during this demo. As you can see, it breaks down into a couple different panes. On the left-hand side, you can see all your hard drives. That Mac HD is my internal. This is the one we're going to be using. It's a 260 gig uh, external USB drive. Nothing really fancy here. You can get it from anywhere. As you can see, it's partitioned GUID, uh, which is standard uh, at this point in time. And you can see it has one partition on it. We've just called it untitled, and that's just a simple HFS Plus, uh, which was uh, the Mac OS X journaled style. And as you can see, there's a whole whopping, uh, what, 11 folders in there. So um, yeah, not that much in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into an encrypted uh, partition. We're gonna do that by going up here into erase and then switching the format. As you can see, there's a bunch of options here. The two that we're interested in is this one here that says encrypted and that one there that says encrypted. The case sensitive encrypted one is really for people who are propeller heads and have a specific reason for doing case sensitive. Since majority of you are not going to care about that, you're gonna to wanna to use the journal encrypted version. And we'll call it something interesting like secret stash. And then we'll tell it to go ahead and race. Now at this point, once we click here, you're gonna see we're gonna get this pane that pops down. Note the warning, uh, if you do not remember your passwords, you're hosed. Unlike File Vault on your internal hard drive that we got to on the last demo, this one will not store a password with Apple. So if you forget it, you're hosed. Game over, nothing you can really do. So we pop in some simple passwords, in this case, one, two, three, and it likes you to put a hint in. So obviously we'll do three, two, one backwards because it doesn't like you just put the hint equal to what your password is. Once we smack the erase button and we do a little bit of editing magic where I'll speed this process up, boom, boom, and boom. We now have a fully functional external encrypted drive. As you can see, there it is, encrypted. And you can see it's got uh, you know a couple of files, no big deal. It's the same thing as basically having an empty standard hard drive. And that's about all there is to it for the basics of an external drive. Now, of course, you can do a lot more than this. This is just the beginning. In our next section, we'll show you what to do with some real fun. In this section, we're going to be looking at File Vault on multiple partitions. Big point behind this is to set this up for the idea that if you were on a file server, you may want to have certain partitions encrypted uh, for security purposes or whatever. As you can see, we're just taking the same 260 gig hard drive that we had before. And this time we're going to tell it to go ahead and partition this. And the way we partition this is by going into partition and then flipping down through these uh, partition options. Uh, I'm going to pick three. We're going to have two encrypted and one non-encrypted partition. And as you can see, when you click on it, it basically divides the disk into however many partitions you say evenly. So obviously this is a thirds. And if you click kind of in the middle here, you can resize them up and down. It is important for you to make sure that you get the sizes of these correct from the beginning. Once you have encrypted these partitions, you will not be able to resize them. So getting the size correct now is vital. Uh, as you can see, I've made uh, Untitled 1 a 100 gig. And on this particular case, I'm going to make Untitled 3 also 100 gigs. And that'll give us about 50-ish or so in the center, I think, right? 150.06 and then 100. And at that point, we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, if you notice their format, it says OSX journal standard. You cannot encrypt these partitions from inside here. You must uh, set them up as standard drives and then go back and encrypt the individual partitions. 
So we go ahead and tell it to do this. We do a little magic in Final Cut. Boom, there's one, two, and three. And everything's all set. Notice it's just standard GYD partition tables and we got one titled one, two, and three. And as you can see, they're all the standard OSS extended, etc. So it all looks pretty much the same as what you expect. At this point, in order to get the encryption to happen, we've got to go back and we've got to click on our partition, hit erase, and then change the format from inside here, which as you can see, we've got a couple of choices. In this case, we're going to take Untitled 1 and we're going to turn it into the standard encrypted uh, partition. And we're going to use something like Secret Stash again. Uh, learn how to type. Hey, might be good if I learned how to spell too, huh? Secret Stash. There we go. Much better. And then we're going to hit the Erase button. And we're going to see everything that we've seen before. Same panel pops down, requires a password. Since this is a demo, we're just gonna put in one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then say three, two, one backwards, as you've seen me do before. Gonna smack the erase button, and then boom through the magic of editing. We're gonna speed this up. There we go. And that's our first partition. That's a standard encrypted partition. This one we're going to keep as a normal partition. I could just go out on the fi finder and just type over this and change it over there and rename it. However, since I'm already inside the disk utility, I'm just going to smack erase and rename it through an erase process, even though I don't actually have to. There's some more Final Cut magic to speed this up and off we go. Uh, that leaves us with number three which we're gonna go ahead and say case sensitive encrypted. And we'll call this secret stash. And we'll say case after it just to make it easy to remember which one's which. And we'll erase and do the th one, two, three. And one, two, three. And three, two, one backwards. And then save and do our final cut magic. One, two, three, bang. Okay, there we go. And there they are, all three partitions on one physical hard drive. Uh, as you can see, they're all pretty much the way you expect them. And there's the normal and then here's the case sensitive. They are all pretty simple, easy to understand. And as you can see, we have our partitions, but note that they are locked. You cannot fiddle with them. So make sure you got it right the first time. And that's pretty much that. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take this drive and we're gonna add it to our file server. And we're gonna show what it's like to be on an encrypted drive on a file server in case you need something like this. All right, so we're gonna put the encrypted hard drive onto the file server. And as with any encrypted hard drive that uh, you do, whether it be on the file server or your own personal drive, you are gonna to have to unlock it in order to mount it. As you can see, it's there requesting our password. Obviously that password was one, two, three. And if you don't remember what it is, you can show the hint. You can also remember to store the password on a keychain, but that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. But uh, there you go, that was for the, the secret stash. This is for secret stash case sensitive. You're gonna get one for every single partition that you have encrypted, by the way. And that pops them onto our desktop. And then we can use the Lion Server app to add them as SharePoints. Now, obviously you can see the file sharing was set up. These are my current SharePoints. And as you can see from looking at storage, there they are, normal, secret stash, and secret stash case sensitive. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back into file sharing. We're going to add a SharePoint and we are going to just share the entire partition. We're not gonna do anything funky here because this is obviously a demonstration. You, however, could put folders and so on and so forth inside there and then only decide to share the folders. Uh, there's normal, here is secret stash. And of course, I'm doing a little bit of edit magic to make this go faster. And then of course, secret stash case sensitive. There we are, just to be sure. 
and boom, there's that one. One, two, three, very simple. And as you can see, you can go ahead and edit the permissions just like you always do. Turn off SMB, whatever you wanna do. Go ahead and say done. And wham, you have your SharePoints available to be used. So next, let's just actually take a look and see how these SharePoints stack up over the network versus doing them straight on your computer. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of speed testing on these encrypted hard drives and these partitions. As you can see, there's our three partitions that we created and those are on the file server. And that one is the unencrypted uh, file uh, partition. And what we're going to do here is we're going to compare the speed of the network to a USB, the same exact one you connected up to the USB to your machine. So the idea here is simply this, that if you were to encrypt a disk on your network and you were to encrypt the exact same disk on your machine, is there a major penalty? Obviously, here's the baseline. This is the normal, non-encrypted, and you can see USB finishes first, but not by a huge amount. Uh, it's actually pretty fast. Here is our first one, which is the uh, HFS Plus encrypted, which is the uh, OSX journaled encrypted one. And as you can see, USB is pumping along. Uh, and uh, obviously, I've sped this up via Final Cut so that you don't have to sit here and wait through the whole thing. But uh, if you look at the actual progress bars, they're not that different. Now, on this particular day, I had about 75 or so percent saturation on the network. Uh, so it really is a real world test. We're not talking about a completely empty uh, lab environment type of situation here. And as you can see, we're now pushing the data onto the uh, secret stash case sensitive one. Uh, in each case, it is exactly the same file. I uh, decided to try the four gigabyte Lion install image uh, that is uh, going to each one of these. And uh, as you can see, USB is pumping along and done. And then there's Ethernet. So let's take a look at the numbers. If you look here, unencrypted times, pretty obvious. Uh, you know, with the encryption, it added a whole whopping four seconds. And with case sensitive, it added seven. But what's impressive here is across the one gigabit network, the times are not that big of a difference. Uh, you can see that uh, it's pretty darn close. So performance wise, you're not gonna lose a whole lot if you decide to implement this uh, on your servers. All right, as our final part of this demonstration, we're going to look at removing the encryption from your encrypted partitions. Now, according to Apple, you should be able to go up to file and then pull down to turn off encryption. And in theory, this is supposed to work. However, I have yet to get the darn thing to work. So in my case, I've always found the simplest solution is just to reformat the sucker back to the standard HFS Plus journaled goody. So there went the standard encryption. Here goes the case sensitive encryption. And we'll just put number one on here just because I've already got it entitled already. We'll hit erase and boom. Of course, I'm obviously speeding this up through Final Cut. Uh, we have standard partitions. And now when we go in and we look at the partition map, we can now re edit these partitions, resize them, and so on and so forth. In this case, we're just gonna push it back to one, tell it to erase, and switch the three back to one. So we have the full size for the hard drive. Obviously, I'm speeding things up here again. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's fairly simple, as you can see. It's easy to do. If you have need for a encrypted storage, this is by far one of the easiest solutions and uh, you know, if you have questions or comments or whatever, feel free to get a hold of me. Uh, obviously, you can see, you can give me a call. Uh, Pacific time, nine to five, Monday through Friday, or there is the website. And on the website, there is a email option. 
that will get directly to me. And of course, there's always Facebook, Twitter, and all the other good fun stuff. So thank you very much for hanging out with me and for watching this video. And you have a wonderful day.